Okay, let's take a basic look at schematic functionality. From the schematic tab in PCB123, I can open up the schematic sheet. Each design starts with one sheet by default. By clicking here, I can add another sheet and then lay out the multiple sheets in a logical way, connecting them with off-sheet off ports. Um, at this point, I'm ready to start using the parts taxonomy to uh, either uh, browse down to particular parts based on properties or to do some search functions. One way I can search is to right-click inside the part taxonomy window, choose Find, specify some component, some uh, properties like maybe just capacitor, and have it locate capacitors for me. You'll notice the first one we found here happened to be in the extensive generics library. Or I can have it find other capacitors. For example, I might be able to just search through here in the capacitors using the, the uh, taxonomy to zero in on some capacitors that meet my needs. And as you notice, when I find an, the actual part definition, I'll get something that looks like a, a footprint. And tool tipping that icon will show me all of the properties that have been defined for that part, including manufacturing part number and the digikey part number when they've been specified. That looks like the one I'm looking for. I'll bring it over here. You'll see that the symbol is up here in this corner showing me what it looks like, and I could start to place them in my schematic sheet. When I'm finished placing those, I can press the escape key to exit part placement mode, and maybe I'd like to go find some resistors instead to add next. So we'll go to the taxonomy. There we go, that looks like the resistor I'm looking for. Place those resistors as so, and escape out. By making sure I'm using this icon here, I can now start to do the network connections, zooming in on the area where I want to pay attention with the cursor and the uh, mouse wheel, and I can start to connect my schematic network as such.